what's going on guys your boy Mohammed. i'm here today to talk to you about my journey my experience in programming where i started from how i got to here i've been doing this for eight years now i've picked up a lot of experience sorry seven years did i say eight years i meant seven years and i've picked up quite a bit of knowledge since then so i'm going to take you all the way back to when i first started what i did how i learned it in a month and basically my journey through that time make sure you leave a like a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it so to go all the way back to the beginning i actually had an interest in software development at the very start and i tried applying to university to study software engineering but unfortunately i was rejected because of my grades they weren't good enough apparently which is fine i ended up doing mechanical engineering and this was all in malaysia and that went i mean that was quite tough to be honest but i managed to get through it and i had a secondary school friend back then who told me about a website where i could learn to program and he was like oh check this out this is cool so i checked it out and it was quite interesting actually um so i tried out html to begin with which i think is the link he sent me so i tried that out and it seemed quite interesting it was very straightforward i was seeing immediate results so i was able to build a web page and you, that feeling you get when you add words into the screen or you add a picture or a clickable link and you're like wow this is i'm actually i've just made a website like yo so that feeling was good and i wanted to follow that feeling up with more knowledge because obviously when you when you learn something new it gives you some sort of dopamine and i don't know if that's a scientific fact or not but i'm sure when you're learning it's a different type of um, elevation that you feel and so i continued that and i did a bit of research online to see which book i could use because the the material that was on that website was quite limited and i had run through the whole html course for example but i didn't know what to do next so i looked at the css course as well after that but that was quite limited as well so they just give you an introduction into these languages and after doing the research i came to find a pdf file which was about 800 pages so it was a book covering html css javascript php and mysql and it was quite a comprehensive book it covered all the aspects of each language pretty much and at the end it combined them together to build a um, real life project in the form of a social networking website and that was quite good exposure from there and that took me a month because i found myself in a place where i didn't want to be it was quite a sticky situation i was trying to get out of and without going into too much detail so i had a friend who helped me out by giving me a spot to stay in and while i was there i was adamant to get myself out of that situation so what i did was i used the time that i was there to learn this new skill and i tried to do it as quick as i could so i spent eight hours a day on it day and night sometimes even longer than eight hours but i'm just giving you the figure because i honestly don't remember but i remember staying on it nights like i would i would i would have sleepless nights on it just because i wanted to get it done as quick as possible and i think it took me around a month to cover the 800 pages which is quite a lot but i managed to get it done and funny enough i started doing some freelancing work afterwards so i put on my cv that i'm freelance and i started looking at job boards in malaysia where i would apply for different jobs and someone reached out to me and they had a stocking application where they would keep track of inventory for their products etc and they wanted someone to make some changes some amendments to the program or to the web application they had and i was happy to do it we met somewhere in the capital we sat down for coffee he laid out the requirements and the project in front of me and i was happy to do it for a certain price we agreed on that price and then i went away and started working on it and unfortunately for one reason or another he decided not to pay me even though i had done the work and i think it was because i had originally done what he asked for but then he came back once I submitted it and he was like, no, actually, I want you to do this and that. So he changed the requirements a little bit. 
and I wasn't very happy with that so I asked him to pay for what I've already done um, to which he refused which was fine it was unfortunate usually it's better to take um, take a cut of the price up front and then get the remaining once you've done the job I didn't do that because I, did, I was inexperienced I didn't know I wasn't expecting him not to pay me if I did the job but it's unfortunate like I said the experience that I learned from that first project or that first freelancer project was quite it was quite priceless so I was fine with it and then after that I went away and I started applying to more jobs as well so I was trying to get some freelancing gigs and just applying to random jobs and funny enough I had a British company reach out to me in Malaysia and they go by the name of Frog Asia and they actually sent me a test asking me to develop a web application where you can add different frogs and each frog would have a type for example like a female or male and the name a picture associated with that frog and then you'd be able to have the mate etc it was a bit weird but i got it done so i actually did a little bit extra as well where i added a a little interactive canvas where you could see dots of frogs so if you added like a, a, a male frog you see a green dot and if you added a female frog you will see a pink dot appear and then these frogs using javascript would interact with each other they would be moving around on the screen and anytime they touch that means they mated so you have each frog inside of this box green and pink and each frog has a number on top of their head showing the number of times they mated so every time they touch another frog that number would increase it was just a little interactive thing that i was experiencing with it was my first time doing something like this so i just thought you know i tried to be creative as much as i could and i submitted that and funny enough they they liked it and they invited me back for an interview which was quite surprising but i'll take it you know i went into the interview started having a conversation with the guy he was very down to earth very easy to chat to and he actually seemed like he liked me and he he actually liked the little interactive part that i did with the canvas and the mating etc and so when i went back a day or two later they sent me an offer letter so i got an offer for around six thousand five hundred malaysian ringgit which is a lot higher than your average salary there for a graduate which was quite ridiculous because i wasn't a graduate i had only learned to program in a month and i'm already earning three times the salary of a graduate there which is yeah it's just silly but i accepted the offer and i tried to take i tried to accept the offer and they said they had to do some immigration work some paperwork for your visa etc and in the meantime you need to leave go to another country and then come back so I went over to UAE and waited for the visa to come out but unfortunately the immigration had strict rules about having either a degree or five years of working experience to replace that degree if you don't have one I didn't have either of those so that job fell through and that was quite disappointing to be honest but we say alhamdulillah we kept moving forward and I actually went back to Malaysia again because obviously I left everything there and I wasn't expecting to not come back so I came back to Malaysia and I started applying again and this time I got another offer very quickly actually I was quite surprised alhamdulillah I got another offer from a company in a in a little island called Penang and long story short I got offered the job the visa went through the CEO was like yeah visas are not an issue we just got one done the other week so we'll get you sorted you got it done very quickly i don't think i even needed to leave the country this time which was quite surprising but that got done i went to the i went to the island and i started working and i had achieved what i was aiming to achieve which was get out of that situation i was in because i had put my friend in a in a situation that wasn't ideal for either of us you know they were giving me a spot to stay in and i didn't want to be a burden so i got out of there as quick as i could and it actually went quite well i started the job met some new friends or made some new friends um, some nice colleagues to work with the senior was a bit annoying to be honest but it is what it is he was a senior so i couldn't really say much to him that's it so to cut a long story short i ended up moving to england to london started working picked a job worked there for about 10 11 months 
it didn't really work out because the ceo wasn't paying employees so i moved on to the next job and then the next job and each time i moved to another job my double my pay got doubled which was amazing i wasn't expecting it but um obviously this is a skill that is in demand and it's actually amazing the amount of times my phone rings a day just because of the skill that i have so if you haven't learned it if you haven't picked up programming and you're thinking about picking it up i would definitely recommend it because it's a skill that you can use in any industry every industry or every company is looking for digital presence and behind any digital presence is a website and an application or a mobile app etc so there's room for you to get into any company to any industry you want and honestly this is a job that is heavy in demand and the supply is quite short so if you get in now it's a great time to get in and yeah man i'm going to be leaving a link in the description to another video telling you about why you should learn to program and whether or not it's a good skill to have so if you're interested in that make sure you check the link in the description if it's not there that means the video is not out yet so you know what to do right you need to subscribe hit that notification bell and you'll be notified once it's uploaded till then thanks for watching this video make sure you drop a like because it helps with the algorithm and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and that's all for this video till next time keep it real